I know what it's like to have your stomach growl and then the growling stop. Um, you know what it's like because you're, you can't focus because you're so hungry. But there was one weekend in particular where it just enough was enough and I knew I had to go get help. And that was the weekend when I picked my son up from daycare on Friday and made him dinner and realized that I had probably just enough food in the house um, to get him through the weekend. And so I did not have anything. Now, what's really important about this story I tell you is that there's a vital program um, within our federal government called WIC, and that precious food that we had in the house was the actual WIC food. More people than uh, we can realize uh, fall between the cracks or are just under the line um, and, and find themselves in situations where they are unable to feed their families and the children. Um, my name is Judith Van Ostel. I'm an ELCA Lutheran pastor at El Milagro Lutheran Church in South Minneapolis. People who are food insecure would be the majority of our community. Um, Tara Marks from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I know there's so many women out there that I've met when I was living in government housing that are just busy being poor and they don't think they're important enough to be heard. I understand how important it is to have grassroots support and to be able to walk into an elected official's office and say, this is exactly what I'm going through and this is what I need you to do for me. I'm able to bring my love of advocacy and also my faith and bring it together and to be able to go do the work that I feel that we're called as Christians to do. I don't care what country you live in or what language you speak or where you call home. Every person, every human being, we're all God's children and we deserve food and it's a right to be able to eat. People need to know that the circle of protection which protects those programs for children and people at risk and hungry people, um, these are critical to the well-being of the whole society writing letters, being informed, what are, are the le pieces of legislation that are coming up. It is indeed our job and our call to be a part of these processes and decisions and legislations and pieces of legislation. And the persons who make those decisions need to hear from us. They want to hear from us.